Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back to another RC in Motion build video. Here we have part one of the build series we're doing now on the Trail Crusher. This is the axle uh, build and again, like I said, most of these parts I already had them. They were just laying around or they were just spare stock parts. So I decided just to throw them on kind of a budget, but not so much of a budget build because some of these parts are a little expensive, but um, with a little time and, and, and money, you'll be able to get them as well if you can. Um, of course, here you have um, all your axle parts, your diffs for your lockers with the bevel gear on it, um, your inside pinion, uh, your knuckles, your lockouts, you have the actual shafts, uh, and the upper link mounts as well. Um, I'm running the aluminum upgraded one in the front. You guys can see this one's the aluminum one. It's pretty beefy. Um, running it in the front just because the front tends to take most of the damage um, when it comes to hitting the first bump whenever you're crawling. Not so much in the rear, so I decided to put it in the front. Um, uh, again, like I showed you guys in the parts video, I'm going to be running the uh, STRC hub carriers uh, or C hubs or chubs, whatever you guys want to call them. Uh, and for the front, I'm actually going to put them in the front of the uh, heavy bevel uh, gear set uh, 3614. You guys can see the part number right there all the hardware included with it so I'm gonna run this one in the front just to get a little bit more wheel speed I believe the stock one is 38 uh, 13 it's so running a 36 14 should be about right so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and uh, start off with the, uh, the diff case or the gear case and we're gonna go ahead and put that one on so let me go ahead and take it apart and then show you guys all that's done. So I just finished building the gear set for it. Okay, make sure everything's tight. And you can see a huge difference in gear ratio. You guys can see, of course, 38, 13, I believe. And this is the uh, heavy duty one, 3614. Now, this one includes its own um, pinion set because the teeth are uh, in a spiral kind of way. So, it includes the, uh, of course, the pinion, and it says right there 3614, where you know you have the right set with your mesh. So, I found this um, CRC heavy duty silicone. Uh, lubricant and it is amazing this little bottle here about two bucks two or three dollars um, local hardware store or even Walmart they have them so I, why not use this it's the same thing they sell on the websites uh, for RC related products and um, overprice them so if you're trying to do something on a budget go the cheap route why not right so uh, I'll go ahead and put these bearings on and give them a little bit of lube. Okay. And we can go ahead. Uh, that's running smooth. Look at that. Okay. Let's dry it off a little. And then we can go ahead and set it in our front. In our front um, axle. But before we do that, of course, um, what you want to do is Go ahead and put in your bearings. Okay, so we're gonna put in that bearing there. Make sure it's seated properly. If you can't see if you can see in there, there if it's seated properly. If it's not, this width on this um, uh, what is this? This hex, I believe, is like seven millimeters. You can actually just seat it down like that, and it seats perfectly flush 
inside. You guys could see there a little, if I could just angle it properly, see it perfectly. So we put in that bearing, we put in your outside bearing, and we go ahead and give it another a loop. Make sure everything's properly looped. Okay, and now you can throw in your little pinion set. Okay, and that, that seems to be running pretty good. Check it out. Okay, so then let's throw in our gear set in here. Oh, that sounds angry. That sounds pretty angry. Okay, so this is the front, of course, so we're gonna set up everything for the front. Now, this is the second item I'm gonna show you guys. Um, it is cheap to purchase again and of course you can use it on all your, um, your RC parts uh, when it comes to gearing. You just want to make sure everything's properly looped and everything's set and done. Right? So what we have here is a Super Guard Marine Plus Gear Lube. It's going to say it right here, Gear Lube. Okay, and his recommendations pretty much is, is a marine grease for any uh, aquatic engine and what it does it'll waterproof it as well any water that comes in it's just gonna stick onto it and it's not gonna affect your parts so we're just gonna go ahead and just put a dab there okay we don't want to overdo it because if the, if the if the grease is too thick shake it a little if the grease is too thick you're gonna get a lot of a lot of binding and and the problem with that is you're gonna burn out something. Something's gotta give, okay? Something's always gonna give. So, go ahead and lube it all. And now it's all properly lubed. Check it out. And as you can see, it's, it's a great lube. It's watery, okay? So you won't get binding. And it's, it's perfect for this application. Keeps your bearings lubed, um, as well as, as your gear on your bearings on the bottom on the output shaft. So we can go ahead and put this other half on here. Okay, and then we can go ahead and start to close it up. So, close it up. This is, like I said, this is going to be the front one. Okay, and we're gonna mount the uh, STRC, Team STRC um, C hubs, of course. Okay, try to do this in one shot for you guys. C hub. Supposed to be orange, but they've been sitting out for a while, so they look more bronze than orange. But we'll go ahead and um, install these as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and install um, screws here, really quick. One side, the other side. There you have your front axle. So then again, we can go ahead and install those bearings at the end. So far, look at that. Oh, 
Okay, so next we're gonna, of course, go in and insert that axle shaft right through that bearing, properly seated on both sides. And now we go to the next step. Okay, the bearing fell down. Okay, and now we'd install our ends here, our drive ends. So oh, there you have it, both of them installed. So let's go ahead and install. Let's go ahead and uh, oops, go backwards. Put on the other side. But so far, this is what putting the axle together looks like. I'm going to go ahead off camera and install the rear to the rear. Um, it's just the exact same process except for you just use a regular lockout. So there you have it guys. This is the build on the axles portion. Um, you guys can see it took a lot of um, effort to put most parts. Um, it's a real tedious uh, build I'd say just the axles because it involves so many parts just on the front one so many bearings you have about one two three four five I'd say about six bearings one two three yeah six bearings just on the front one plus the two inside that's eight <clears throat> and then two more on the output that's ten just in the front it's crazy but this is your uh, final product of course we'll be installing the linkage that'll be another um, build video um, your links of course um, your lower links uh, your upper links and, uh, pretty much the rest of the truck and here's the rear like I said I finished the rear sounds pretty pretty good right there um, of course, like I said, uh, the only thing missing would be your pins and your hex, hexes for your wheels, your wheel hexes, and that would be it. But after I, I was done, um, of course, installing them and putting them together, I mean, putting them together, I went ahead and sprayed it over with that lubricant. It helps out a lot. Um, it's a silicone. It, it's pretty much uh, helps it become water resistant in a way that spray that I showed you guys um, but uh, it, so far it seems like it works pretty good um, so this is the build on the axles uh, like always guys rate comment subscribe thank you guys to the next one